everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we made our way through the Bee Garden, which was very lovely, but a little confusing at times. But uh, hey, we made it through, and uh, well, in this episode, we're going to get the fuck out. It says lock on it, so it's probably the lock for the door. <laughs> Alright, let's open this door. Yes, let's. Please do. Here we go. Three, two, one! You found it! No sooner had we stepped out of the garden than I saw three people I'd watched leave through the green door sometime earlier. Whoa! Hey, and that means no one's going to open the A-B room like a fucking asshole! Well, they probably- Dio probably still will, but just not immediately. What are you guys doing here? We ought to be asking you the same thing. How'd you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. Map? Oh, right. I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out on f in the front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Right. Yeah. And which room did you go into? This fan-shaped one. It's called the Bee Garden. Bee Garden? Well, I'm trying to figure out how all this shit connects. Okay, I see it now. So we went through the blue door, went through that door, went down, moved into the circular room after moving through a warehouse-like room, I guess? Then we went around and into the fan-shaped room. And then we went out a certain way and found our way... This big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Look, you can go see it yourself later, alright? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. Hmm. And then we met up. Right here. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You wanna have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. Well, I mean, yeah, we might as well. We're in the neighborhood, right? So? Sure, let's have a look. After a few moments of brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. Not like any asshole is going to open an AB room, making us all rush. Right, Dio? Still mad salty about that. Although, to be fair, of course I'm going to be salty about that because in several different timelines he's done it to us! What are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Oh, that's nuts! How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Well, that's just rude. I mean, look, I hate Dio as much as the next guy, but he hasn't really done anything to deserve that ire right now. Yet. Uh, hey! You wanna start something, lady? Yeah, it seems like she does, doesn't it? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit, and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. <laughs> it's funny because he was locked in one in one timeline and died. Huh? Why? Aren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Wait. Did you say cold sleep? That's where they freeze you, right? And you can stay that way for a really long time? Yeah. According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were? We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. How long were they here? No idea. 
part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up, and that's it. Then they could be anyone. Well, anyone but you. What? Why not, Alice? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? What? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. What? That was a real thing? I mean, they wouldn't bring it up unless it actually was a thing that become relevant, but... What? It freezes at 96.8 degrees. Oh, that would explain why she's wearing such revealing clothing, because if... Well, no, because then her body would cool down faster? I'm confused. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. I guess you're gonna have to talk to Clover then, huh? <laughs> Have you gone insane? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh man, you fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? I don't know, that seems like a weird thing to joke about. No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Well, I mean, you'd know about Ice-9, Junpei. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. With seemingly no other prompt, Alice launched into a lengthy explanation. It went something like this. At some point in the past, someone fr found a frozen mummified Egyptian queen. Oh, right! Her! So they're saying that Alice is that Egyptian queen, huh? I mean, makes sense. I think they alluded to that more or less at the end of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. What was curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually simply became Alice. Rumors that her body was made of Ice-9 began to circulate, and her bizarre refusal to thaw only compounded them. They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. Well, I mean, you wear a lot of Egyptian-style jewelry, and did at the end of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really? How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? Well, I mean, we exist in a world at this point where there's people who can access some sort of obscure morphogenic field thing and share intel with each other, where somehow we can communicate each other through different timelines and remember things that we shouldn't remember because it didn't technically happen, but it has happened, and other various random sci fi e fantasy bullshit. You know, it's not too far to believe that some immortal Egyptian queen is running around and has decided to join a government agency. At least I don't think so. The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. But why would people make a, that mistake about you in particular? It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well... It is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? Well, I mean, you wearing a lot of Egyptian, like, jewelry and stuff doesn't help that argument. I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. 
If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him, and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I could see her doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. Well, I mean, it kind of is useful. I mean, we could pop one of our bracelets off, but if I actually said that, then it would reveal it to Zero and he'd turn off the machine and that'd be awkward for everyone. At Alice's request, we made our way out of the treatment center. This is... It looks like another warehouse. Yep, just minus the AB rooms. It looks like the same warehouse. And also different text on the wall. And also white doors. Hey, look. Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think... These might be the next set of chromatic doors. I'd bet on it. Look. They've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. So the next set of doors are... white? They haven't all been the same color before. Well, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Right. Let's head back to floor A. Warehouse A. Oh, thank goodness. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. Well, Radical Six is about to happen. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him, but his condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. I mean, we got the treatment room set up. Ten Miyoji shoved K aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran after off after him. Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Ten Miyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Uh, hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? 
Then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. Do you not realize where we are, Dio? You son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. Oh, right. Well, we've got Luna. Luna? Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. So that thing can tell us what's wrong with Quark? Yes. I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up on the screen. Words too complicated for me to underscore and scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. One of the radical variety. Oh no. Don't tell me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical 6. Sorry, I feel like when you see Radical 6, a guitar riff should definitely play. Have you heard of this virus? Radical 6, I mean. Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. Dio and Luna were two of the first people to investigate the infirmary. They must have seen the newspaper clipping that Quark found. I'd stayed behind after the AB game, and they'd all split up and gone into different rooms. It seemed like one way or another, everyone had learned about Radical Six. No. He can't... How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible! Something about the tone of his voice seemed... strange. Why wasn't it... possible? Had Tenmyoji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we can do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Yeah, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. Rude. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but Dio's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? In the garden? No. No, nothing like medicine. I mean, it was just like a park. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. Then, yeah, there should be. Wait, isn't that where we found Excelivir? There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine. 
but nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Okay, why would Kay hide that? Because I've been in the laboratory, and I know for a fact there's a thing of Excelivir in there. Oh god. Then he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Look, just to be sure... The three of you went to the treatment center, right? And you're sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Treatment pods? That's it! If we put Quark in one of those pods... For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Oh god, here we go. Oh, thank god. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you- <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I- I have to- Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to escape. But how? Like this. Quark's hands moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight towards his heart. Stop! No! Let go! Let go of me! <laughs> Pretty tough for a kid. Hey guys! I could use a hand here. Uh, yeah. Right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Tenmyoji! What the hell are you doing? Get over here! Tenmyoji! Can you even hear me? Oh, right. Damn you! Bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Jesus, this kid's lost it. Hey! Somebody get that scalpel away from him! Good! Thanks, whoever that was. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We've gotta calm him down somehow. Luna! Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're Soparil Beta. Soparil? That's the anesthetic! The one that's in our bracelets! Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay. Let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! <sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. All right, I guess we're good for now. Well, Quark has gone from suicidal to sleep. So, that's good. 
about the anesthetic. How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Because she's got a medical degree. Huh? Oh, well, um... I'm guessing in the article. How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> is that the truth? I mean, yeah! She could just make educated guesses based on her education. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Park tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes, yes it was. Yes. At least, I think so. <laughs> so what kind of virus is Radical Six? Oh, my God.